afternoon we were at Bishop's Cleeve for the return game and it was a completely different Bishop's Cleeve side to the one that we saw earlier in the season and the bad news is that we've come away and beaten four goals to nil. Um, in, in terms of the lineup, we had uh, Gerard in goal and Matty gave Connor Cochrane a first start in the centre of defence and young Ollie Griggs was, was on the bench. Um, the story of the game was that uh, it was going okay for 10 minutes and then unfortunately Gerard had a bit of a mistake with a throw out, he dropped the ball and picked it up. The, the ref gave that as an indirect free kick about 10 yards out and the result was that went in. Um, on 30 minutes um, we lost the ball in midfield, they rounded, they passed it forward, rounded the keeper, that was 2-0 and then right on 45 minutes there was a long ball right to left. The left winger took the ball at pace, came inside and tucked it in for 3-0. Um, and 10 minutes into the second half, um, they killed the game off with a, with a fourth goal. Again, the left winger um, scored, scored another one. So, Matty, what can you say? Uh, I think you've summed it up there, man, really. It's uh, speechless, really. The, the first 10 minutes was, was great. We had a couple of corners, one on the front foot, and we got Toby in behind uh, a couple of times. I think it was really fine. Um, you know, I feel for Gerard because he sort of caught it, done well, he's looked to come out and get us going quickly, which we want him to do with a throw. And he sort of changed his mind mid sort of flight and then just dropped the ball. And obviously you, you pick it back up. It's a like, natural reaction to do that. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously they get a free kick within, what, six yards off the goal line. Uh, we try and put the wall across the line's best and the lads just tucked it in the corner. Um, it's an unfortunate mistake and from then uh, things just got worse and worse. Um, I thought we were, we were off the pace of the game. So as soon as the goal went in it was like an avalanche, just it got bad to worse really. Um, we just spoke to the boys in there about how disappointed we are with the overall performance. Yep. And, and once they, they got that first goal, their confidence just went up. And I was chatting to some of their supporters. Mind you, there weren't many here, but the couple of guys near me, and they said they'd been threatening to, to score a lot of goals against Evesham and against Taunton, been playing really well. And, and their confidence was up. The pitch, I guess, wasn't terribly good. It looked quite bobbly at times, but it's the same for both teams. Same for both it? teams, yeah. It was bobbly, but you have to adjust to it. And, um it just after the, after the 10 minutes, like we say, we created some good little chances, openings. Um, we, we just literally capitulated, really, and it's, it was disappointing um, because we're leaking far too many goals. I made the changes today to try and affect the team um, to get a clean sheet, um, and it didn't happen. So I've got to look again for next week to see how we're going to change it again. Yeah. yeah. So any any positives we can take? Today? Uh, the substitutes when they come on, um, I thought it sort of um, got a better tempo to the game, although it was 4 0 down. It's always easier possibly to play at 4 0 with the other team a little bit more relaxed. But I thought they'd come on and um, sort of affect the game. And we had uh, it's some bad day out when the, the ball got flashed across the face and we missed an open goal in the last yeah. minutes uh, to make it 4 1. But that's just some sort of bad day out. But yeah, that's, that's the positives really. Connor got 90 minutes, uh, struggled at times, but positional play with Sam to improve but we'll work with that with him um, and that's what it's all about these are young lads I think average age of the squad today was 22 we worked yeah. out uh, you can up against um, Wiley players and we got to learn quickly yep yep I, I thought Connor was, was okay in, in the middle of defence I was a bit concerned as to who was going to take over the, the talking bit but I thought Connor Connor took that over and he was quite quite vocal on the pitch well that's what we've not really got even Arnie was in there we haven't really got leaders in the team uh, and that's something that they try and take responsibility for as well um, some of those were working with them. Yeah. And, and, and Ollie, I thought he looked quite bright when he came on. Ollie Goose. Yeah, yeah, he's a bright young lad. He's a high uh, prospect for Eastley. Um, so we'll have him for the month and just see how much game time we can give him. Uh, if we play like that, he'll be getting plenty of game time. So we've got to change something uh, to, to affect the rest of the team. Yeah. So it was a, a pretty poor first half, really. We, we picked up a bit in the second half. So it, it was a shadow of the, the side we can be, I think, today. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think that's one of our worst performances this season, bar the first 10 minutes, maybe a little bit in the second half. Um, you know, they're all sitting there disappointed. But unless you compete uh, for 90 minutes at this level, you're going to come up up against any team. Yeah. Uh, and we lacked that a little bit competitive today, which was really disappointing for me as a manager. But you want your players working hard uh, the whole game. And if they don't, you're going to struggle. Yeah.
So, but thank you very much for coming out to talk to us, Matt. We really appreciate that. Um, the next game was going to be on Tuesday uh, against Poole, but Poole have drawn with Weymouth, so they've got a replay and the trophy on Tuesday. Our next game is at Tiverton next Saturday, and our next home game is on the 10th of December against Larkwood. Hope to see you at some of those games.